So this is hopefully going to be the last like publishing update I do for Beauty and the Breakdown, which was uh, my first book, because I'm ready to move on to other things now. But I had to order one final proof copy of another paperback. So I ordered this one because I'm currently in the process of trying to publish the hardbacks. I decided to go with the Amazon KDP route because the Lulu ones weren't quite doing it for me. So here it is. Here's the last proof copy I've had, but since then I've kind of updated the interior to, I wanted to add a page for trigger warnings, I wanted to add a Spotify code on the track list, and I wanted to add like some black pages to separate chapters. However, since I've ordered this proof, Amazon has made it really difficult to order proofs to the UK. Um, they made it so there's only six stores that are doing hardbacks, which is US, UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain. However, you can't ship directly to the UK. So if in the UK, you also can't order from America. So you have to order from one of the European countries. However, the European countries don't ship to the UK due to, I'm assuming, some kind of COVID or Brexit reasons. So I can't actually order a, a hardback proof. So what I did was I updated the interior for the paperback and ordered another paperback proof. So it's been a process, but it means hopefully this book is exactly how I want it, finally, so I can move on from it. So look, you can see here, we've got some black pages. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from the start and I'll show you the big changes. So here's the copyright page. I made another change since then, which um, puts like my fake little um, publishing company logo on this page. I put, also put it on the back here. I've also, now that I can see it, I've resized it so it's hopefully more legible. But it says Little Oaks Independent, because that's what I decided my independent publishing is going to be called. And that's just named after a street where I lived in uni, which I thought was just a really cute name. So I thought I'd use it for something. The next change is after, I'll show you. We have this title page, we have the title page with my name on and my upcoming books. We have copyright, we have dedication. And after that, we have this note from our author, which lists like the key or biggest trigger warnings with the book. I obviously can't go through and list every single thing that might be triggering. So that could be pages and pages of like very, I guess, uncommon or niche or obscure triggers. So I stuck with like just the main ones, which should cover a lot of ground, I hope. But I saw this, I read, I think I read in advance read the copy of a book kind of recently. I'm recording this December 8th. 2021 I believe for reference and I thought you know what I'm also going to add another trigger warning like a page with trigger warnings in my book because I have them I think I currently have them like in my author review on Goodreads for it but obviously if you just pick up this book well you're not going to pick it up you have to order it from Amazon but if you get this book without going on Goodreads I also want you to see the triggers which I hope is becoming more normalized in books I think it is but I don't have insight into the publishing industry <laughs> Next big change after that is we have like funky chapter headers, which this is, these pictures are just like very zoomed in like areas of this background here. Like this page, I think is this region above Clara's head. But I wanted to add, I wanted just it to look nicer because where's a book I read recently? I read this at the start of the year, but this book here is what inspired me to do it. It has black pages just to break up to break up the chapters and i really like this because as you are going through the book like as you finish a chapter here's a place to stop so because if i keep turning the page i'll be tempted to keep reading but i like these black pages because it gives me like a safe place to stop and not feel tempted to keep going so i will keep going because my brain is broken <laughs> so yeah i want to add like a safe a safe space to stop Yes, you can see here, here's the last page of the chapter, then we just have a full resting place before we go on into the next chapter. And that's just something I wanted to do, mostly because I think it looks cool. I like having more visuals throughout the book, because it, it's obviously not illustrated, there's not photos throughout. But I wanted to keep tying in this cover element through the design throughout the book. And because I'm self-published and I'm the one in charge of literally everything, that's great for me. I kind of want to do a little video on like a, you know, you should get this like big yellow books that like the dummies guys to something. I want to do either like 
a very lazy guide or a guide for like broke self-published authors on like how you can do your books but I think I need to do a little bit more work on my current book as like some practice but that's a video that I really want to do because I think by now I have gained a lot of insight as I am doing literally every stage of this book. Another little change is um you know between like scenes they just have like empty lines some places have a little illustration but the illustration it's of a car i think it's very cute that's another change that's also just for me because i want to keep having more visuals and make this book aesthetically appealing throughout and again it's tying in the cover and it's tying in like key like first chapter moments just throughout i like a very cohesive aesthetic a change that i'm gonna have to go back now that I see this book, um, I'm going to have to go back and because this picture in the background is it's not transparent, it's a fully white all the way down, so it's kind of blocked out the page numbers for these first chapter pages. Like there are page numbers throughout, just not on the first page of each chapter. So I'm going to have to go back and crop that image. It's just so there are page numbers. I don't know if it's essential for the first page of a chapter, but I, I want it to be cohesive. There's been a slight change to um in the recent paperbacks that i've done um where is where are they so not from when it's in its skinny edition but from like the past year when it became thicker because i changed the formatting i didn't add any words i changed the formatting <laughs> to make it a good like 50 pages longer i decided that i was going to add you know the first chapter of the next book I've changed this from, it was just the prologue, but now I've changed it to the first chapter because I think the prologue's not a very accurate representation of what this book's about, so we're going to go first chapter. Is it the full first chapter? I think it is the full first chapter, and I've gone back through this first chapter and I've added, they have little trees as like the scene breaks in this one. And the final change I would like to show you this was inspired by, I believe the account is Books and Moods on TikTok, which they came across my few, they came across my few page. And they are, I don't know who runs the account or it's multiple people, but they just post videos, I guess mostly for indie authors, just showing them how to use InDesign to design things like um, these page spreads, these chapter headers. And one of the things that they did that I found very interesting was that they did include a track list for one of their books, which I've seen in so few books, but I really love, but mostly because I didn't want to write acknowledgements for this book because self-published, there's very few people I need to acknowledge. And also I was 14. <laughs> there was like no one I need to acknowledge besides myself. But one thing that they did do, I don't know if they did the track list instead of the acknowledgements, but they did do a track list and they put like a little, they put this little Spotify code at the top which I just thought was very cute and a cute detail because I do have it as a playlist on Spotify. I'm sorry that this is like discriminating against Apple Music users but I don't use it and I don't have the playlist on Apple Music but I do have Spotify. So I thought adding this in was cute so you can actually listen to the track list and you know that there is a playlist there. You don't just see this list of songs like this list of songs and be like oh yeah that's nice. It's more like interaction with the book again. And I thought that's very cute. So I'm very happy with this. This is hopefully, I'm going to say this is hopefully the last time I'm ordering copy. This is definitely the last time I'm ordering copy until um, the big boy comes out. And then hopefully this one will be updated to have this interior and it will be good. It will be great. Fingers crossed. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this book. This is taking a lot longer than I thought. This is a full video now. I was just going to stick this in at the end of the video for the proofs for the next book, but it's going to be its own thing now. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little update on my little indie author self-publishing journey. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions about self-publishing or you'd like a more detailed video about the process, specifically for lazy and poor people like myself, let me know. I'll probably make it no matter what. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.